my brother and I are batshit crazy. That's what they call it, batshit crazy, batshit crazy, whatever. And this is the reason we're insane. Uh, we're literally insane. We have uh, grief problems. We had a friend when we were in school and he was living in a, in a murder house. <clears throat> Somebody killed two people and blew his brains out in the freaking place. And so they had to paint over the blood in the walls. And we used to hang out there with our friends. One of our friends, um, he uh, was uh, dating a girl at one point in time, and her name is Coffin, is a, a Jewish girl. And then what he did after that, because I think he was dealing with a lot of uh, sexual issues, I don't even know what they were, but he said on a podcast, he said, yeah, I was, uh, I was with this, uh, this girl, and she had a really huge bush and all this stuff, you know. And I'm thinking, dude, what's going on? So I called him, and he was good at writing music. I called him, and I said, hey, stop all this. This is madness, what you're doing. This is what you do. Just start making music with me. We'll do something. It'll be fun. It'll be fine. And uh, we'll figure out what to do with this uh, other stuff with this girl. That uh, You just did it wrong. That's not how you treat women, that sort of a thing, right? And so what happened is, on Valentine's Day, apparently, his girlfriend, um, I think she was just angry because of how he was talking about Christy. Um, but anyway, I think that's what he did. I think he, um, we, we, he committed suicide. It was uh, Valentine's Day. And his girl was giving him a lot of hell because uh, he was just too abusive for her. I don't know what was going on with him. But he killed himself. He overdosed on drugs on, on Valentine's Day. He did it all on purpose. And when we found out about this, and we we're trying to do work with him, he, he was he was a good. A lot of things about him were good. He's dead now. <sighs> so anyway, we're trying to. I don't know. Trying to help a dead man apparently. So my brother and myself, we got really drunk after hearing this. And um, it was an awful day. Falling down in the yard, just, uh, this is a bad day because we were little kids, you know what I mean? So anyway, what happened after that? I forget the story, give me a second. So um, Christy Kaufman's mother was a good uh, a person. She was really kind. My brother used to call. He always just wanted to talk to Christy because she was cool. He liked talking to her. I didn't know her well enough. I did a joke because I didn't know how bad her family life was. So what I did, this is a... I, I didn't mean to do this. What I actually scared her. Never I thought I was just being stupid and it's still laughing. You're a moron. This is a funny thing that I said, but I didn't know that her dad was a pervert. So anyway, what I said is I said, hey, hey, uh, Christy, because she's all docile and stuff. And I'm thinking, well, she likes drama and she hangs out with actors, right? So I'm thinking, well, this is funny. I'll just cheer her up a little bit because it's a, just a day that every day sucks. You know, every day is bad. And so I said, hey, Christy, I got a van outside. And I even told her I had a VHS. <laughs> VHS. Most people don't even know what this thing is. That I, it's, just a, it's obviously fake. I've got a VHS camcorder. You want to be a star? I'm making a movie. I'm getting into video production. And I'm going <laughs> to... And uh, my uh, direction in the industry is pornographic. You want to be a star? Yeah, I'll make you a star right now. And I, not only her, but I was asking a lot of people, a lot of girls, hey, so who wants to be a star, huh? It's a joke. And uh, she didn't take too well to it. She was really upset. And I said, listen, I don't even have a van. I came here in a Camaro with T-tops where everybody sees everything that's going on in the car. I'll show you. I'll just let's go with me. This is on her lunch break. Let's go with me. Look, look I'll show you my car. And she said, no, I don't know. I didn't know her dad was a pervert. 
All right, so my brother used to call, and uh, if she wasn't there, then my brother would speak to her mom. And this is what this, uh, her husband did, is that she, she, was, uh, she was found by her daughter, by Christy, my uh, our friend of ours, um, even worked at the library for a time. She found her mother dead in a closet and this jerk was lying about the location said the last time that he saw her was at Walmart. When he dropped her off at Walmart, they went to the video footage apparently. And uh, so then anyway, anyway, she goes upstairs and she uh, smells the foulness of death and opens the door. And then what does she see? She sees her mother, her own mother. I don't even want to. Uh. She sees her dead, rotted mother in her own. Her, 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 what? Uh. So that that that's why we're insane. It's not like we went out of our way to be crazy. If you live through that, all of that, that makes you crazy. I'm sorry. Meanwhile, we're just a bunch of, we're like uh, thrill seekers and stuff like that. And we got, all of us, we have to put up with this. Why do we have to put up with this?